<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? It's not raining out right now, but it's been raining on and off and snowing today. This project seems like it's taken us forever between the raindrops and work, but we got a few hours to work on today, so let's get started. The camper door's in there for a template right now. We're gonna be modifying it to make it look more period correct with the chicken coop. We're not gonna leave it the way it is. Let's see how much we can get done before it rains. How do you think it's looking? It's gonna be our new tiny home. What do you think? Uh -uh. Uh -uh, be careful. You don't want it to be our new tiny home? And it's not going to be. It's gonna be the chicken's tiny home. Ah. Let's see how it goes. So far, it seems like a lot of the comments are leaning towards the plastic fender flares, more to the point of upcycling. I like that idea. If we use the fender flares, we're gonna upcycle them and we're not gonna have to throw them away. If you don't want the fender flares to be used, leave it in the comments below and give me a good reason why not to use them. Boy, that wind has got a bite to it today. phone ringing? Did you hear the phone ringing? Pluto, did you hear the phone ringing? Did you hear the phone ringing? Come here. Pluto heard the phone ringing. We just had an awesome conversation. We're going to be having some pretty neat guests here. I'm not going to tell you who it is. You're going to have to wait and stay tuned. Make some guesses. Who's out touring around right now and looking for places to go? That's all I'm going to say. Pluto's so excited too. Watch. Let's get back to the tractor build! All right, modern steaders. I wanna get this top drip board up, and it's 12 feet long, and I'm the only one home. Now, we gotta think out of the box. So what I'm thinking is if I screw a piece of scrap wood from here over to there, I can set this up, it'll set on that end, it'll hold it in place, and be a third hand for us. Let's give it a try. We got the arm up there in place for us. Let's give it a try. I think this is gonna work. But first, we wanna put a little bit of liquid nails on each one of these. Ooh, I like it. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Put one screw on this side, so we can go over to the other side. Oh, 
Did we cut it long enough? I think we did. All right, guys, let's try to get this one up there now. <laughs> the birdie hen's making all kinds of noise right now, guys. Now let's bring the ladder down this way. Let's see how we did. Not too bad. Alright, Mod and Stutters, I think this is going to have to be our last piece for the day. We got quite a bit done, just about, I don't know, we had two hours today to get stuff done, so I think we got a lot done. We got this side almost all the way up. We'll go back around and I'll show you. We got the eaves all trimmed out, or the drip edge on the eaves all trimmed out. And after that, we got to fill in the soffits before we can go up any higher on our gable ends. We probably didn't need this filler board. I'm gonna show you in a second what we're gonna do for trim. I didn't wanna just have this aluminum window on the outside, so I recessed it in. We got a nice dado groove and some of our scrap pieces, and that's gonna fit nicely. That'll just trim out that window. Oh, it's gonna look beautiful. I know we're going a little crazy, it's just a chicken coop, but why not have it just aesthetically pleasing? We'll just make it look as nice as possible. That's gonna look so good all the way around when we get all done. Let me lower the camera down. Ooh. That'll look nice. Yep. We're just gonna figure out how wide we want the board afterwards and we'll trim it out. And we're gonna do the door and everything like that too. There you guys go, you can see all the drip edge. It looks nice, huh? Yeah, it's starting to look more like a little tiny house cabin. I hope you guys liked today's video. We're pretty excited for this week. We got a lot of stuff going on here between chicken coop, work. We got visitors coming. Leave it in the comments down below who you think is gonna be visiting here at Lumna Acres. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps our channel grow. And we'll see you right back here at Modern Steaders tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.